So what are we discussing? We're discussing those robots we've just looked at. Fucking dolphin robot in a in a sea life centre to take over the the trained dolphins. Yeah. We put a link in the in the uh, description. So what we're saying, right, is if we look at the world, if we look at the state. If we go into a massive conspiracy theory, right? Right, who's it conspiracy theory, right? <coughs> We're gonna post a video in the link in the description of what current just... robotics <coughs> and how the level of abilities the level of, a, of, ability. of a robot nowadays. Yeah. So there's a just like Jazzy was just saying, there's a dolphin that you just you can't even tell the you could I like looked at it, I could not tell. It was when they said it was a robot, I was like, no way. Yeah, and they're gonna uh, they're gonna use it to take dolphins out of real dolphins out of aquariums so that people can still go and watch dolphins it's, it's unreal it's unreal but then like then that poses a bigger question right <clears throat> if robots are going to replace jobs which they are in the very near future i mean they already are right i yeah. think it's closer than i think it's closer judging by them robots we just looked at then it's closer than we than we can it's, possibly it's, imagine let's say 10 years as a maximum yeah yeah for definite so, and you look at the state of the world economy and you look at what's happening with, with post-COVID and with the war in Russia and with, I don't know where you lot are in the world, but in the UK, energy prices have, have gone up 50%. They're going to go up another 50% in October. Taxes are going up. <clears throat> you know, the squeeze, everything that we buy is going up. And whether or not that's a result of Brexit or not is another thing. But like the cost of living is going through the roof and it is a cost of living crisis, right? So there's this slow, choky squeeze. There's a slow that, squeeze on the people. On the people, and then all of a sudden, business owners like me and Justin, <clears throat> building company and, and videography and filming companies, etc. The little man, the small man, <coughs> gets squeezed first, right? And yeah, then, and then it businesses. gets to a point where you start to, you know, small business makes up a huge percentage of our economy. So those small businesses get squeezed. They get choked out of existence. Isn't it something stupid like 90% of, the, of Britain is like employed? 60%, 70%, is it? yeah. It's very high by small businesses. So those businesses get choked, right? Yeah. And then, then, then that the knock-on effect of that is then you've got you know poverty and a huge problem where you've got to look after people and then all of a sudden you've got robots. No, no, no. The robots are going to come in first, bruv. Do you think? Well, you've already got Amazon, <coughs> right? Yeah. And judging on it, and you'll see in the link, when you look at these robots, I mean, one of them, the hand and the muscles, even the muscles in the arm were moving. Which is the woman, prosthetic limb. Right. Yeah. So that's how close we are to the movement of a human body. And then you look at these robots distinguishing between a bit of plastic. That's a clear bit of plastic. That's And it's literally just two arms going, that's blue, that's green, that's clear. You know, just doing this. So the, the fact of the matter is, if it costs, say it costs £50,000 for one robot and you're employing someone and you're paying them twenty five grand a year, that's two years' wages... And your maximum, I think, when I used to do the run the big business, is five years for a for a standard person. You can expect them to come in a business, last about five years, and they're gone. So you pay two years wages for a robot that doesn't not come in on a Monday morning, that's never real, that works twenty four hours, and doesn't will be there paid. probably for the next twenty years, yeah. maybe even just ten. But in that time, the money that that thing. So most business owners would go, well, fuck me, I'm just going to borrow that money because I can get a decent loan on it and that thing's going to have paid itself in two years, right? It works 24 hours a day. It doesn't. In a year, feeding. in fact, it if it's doing have, 24 hours a day. It doesn't have social problems. It doesn't need to get paid. Doesn't it doesn't come in. You don't have to worry about being yeah. while you're talking to it or treating it. It is literally like the ideal thing for any the business. The ideal employee. And, and then, and then, right, on the flip side of that, you've not only have you got that, not only have you got physical robots that are sorting boxes 24 hours a day for Amazon, that can do it like the, the strength of 10 men like we said don't need pain blah 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 you've also got algorithms <clears throat> that are deciphering insurance claims yeah medical diagnosis yeah. legal diagnosis yes. that do it that work to a, you know the, i think the best guess for a, a, a an insurance uh, claim 
situation, assessor, assessor is kind of seventy percent, right? And an AI is ninety fucking six percent. Same with the pro- like that. prognosis of a disease or medical, whatever it yeah. is, medical. So, so they got, are all over it, AI, so got, aren't they? You've got algorithms doing that, and you've got physical robots that are doing the work of people. So, what do you do with the people that are going to lose their jobs? Where then you obviously, if you're I mean, we could be staring down the barrel of something beautiful, to be fair. Could because be. you could be looking at a, youth, a, a society where we don't have to fucking work. The robots do the work for us. And we get given a certain amount of money or whatever it is. And you can just go about your life. Because we need the money. Making YouTube videos. Whatever the job, whatever it is, you're given a certain amount of money. Because the businesses are still out there making the business, yeah? Yeah. But the fact of the matter is that money doesn't work. Paper money doesn't work anymore. And that's why we're going digital, right? Yeah. But money doesn't work anymore, especially if you've got, uh, I don't know, 7 billion people on this planet and only a billion of them are actually working now because there ain't no you. You know, even farms, it's, it literally will be, every, even our job on site, what we're doing today, flopping fucking Monaco, on a wall, that's going to go. Mm, that whole thing will. Because once that AI comes in with the robot, uh, and do you know what? I'd rather have robot gym on site with me. For sure. You know get what I mean? Get it level. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. But out of the pair of us, one uh, one of us will be putting it on level, yeah? Strength, and it'll be the robot, won't it? My strength in video, mate. I'm not saying no, anything about joking, you, no, brother. I'm, I'm just but saying listen. the preciseness of something like that and the, and the, the lack of... Um, failures that that thing will have. Yeah, I mean... It's... Human error is just written out of it. Yeah. So the wall will then, be flopped on level, then, job done. But then how far does that go? Like, so... So so where long... So let's put a time scale on it. I think... I think... I think... Taxis. The, I think the world will be unrecognisable in 10 years' time compared to what it is now. How unrecognisable is it from I, I 10 think... years ago? The internet is massive. Well, I mean, 10 years of YouTube and Facebook and so on and so forth are only around 10, 10 years old. The iPhone is only yeah. 13 years old, yeah? So? The iPhone is 13, 13 years, years old. old. Right? Yeah. So let's go 10 years into the future and let's take into consideration... iPhone the, 23. Let's take into consideration the exponential curve, right? Yeah. And this is another thing, yeah? yeah so that's I'm, look, right, yeah. I'm looking at a new Mac, right, to, for, to get for, for my video editing work, right? Yeah. And uh, you buy this little Mac. It's um, uh, oh, shit. It's Mac, fucking. It's a new Mac, right? And it's basically they call it system on a chip. So my iMac, my five K iMac, which I paid six grand for, right? It's super spec'd up to the maximum. When we're now editing six K footage. And you get more than 20 minutes on there. It's like, fuck it out. You've got, you've got to create proxy files for it. You've got to do all sorts of stuff to make it run smoothly. Yeah? It's a lot of data. A lot of data. So this new little Mac, M1 Max, which yeah. I've been looking at, five grand. Yeah. And it's... It's got... So my, my computer at the moment at home is, I think it's 16 core, right? And uh, GPU speed of whatever it is. It's decent, right? This thing is a 64 core, yeah. Jesus. It's got it's got 60 it's 64 core. I'm not going to tell you what the specs are, but basically it makes mine look obsolete. It's also got four times or more. It's also got core. a neural engine built into it, yeah. Right. So basically, it will learn about you, and it will learn about your. Um, the way you use. How you use Siri, it will listen to your voice, it will literally... And what, yeah. what, what the girl in the Apple store was saying to me, she said, at the moment, the neural engine is probably something you're not going to notice because it's learning about how you use your computer to streamline your, your service, right, yeah. on your computer. Yeah. She said, but in the next two or three years, that neural engine is going to be just groundbreaking mate because the computer you will then have a two way street of communication with your computer it'll be yeah it'll be work, like working with something that knows what you're going to be doing before it's, you're going to be doing it yeah, yeah it's unbelievable like like when you're on site and you turn around and the person's already got the spanner there ready for you to do <coughs> well, it and it, it just, she said it will communicate with you because this because the ability of siri now is becoming so good that it will learn and it, you will have a relationship with your so computer. is that good so this, this is the thing is it good or is it bad what i mean what are we heading for what we've got to believe that 
those that are in power maybe have an understanding of what's coming and they can't no. tell everyone because there'll just be this massive but they've panic. Got, they've got to... They've, listen, there are going to be think tanks in government institutions that are planning the next 20 years and saying, listen, this technology... Like, like, um, I, honestly, like what's his name? Sam Harris was talking about. I don't when think he's in government, to... Well, what's Sam Harris? Well, there must be advising. The government must be they, being advised. They're not even worried. Listen, all they're worried about is what comes up to their next election day. Anything after that, they don't give a fuck. I don't know about that, mate. Maybe, maybe There not. hasn't been a government I can ever think of that no. is planning, apart from like the ones who <clears> bought out the national wealth back in the early 1920s or whatever it was, or 40s, yeah, that listen. government that bought out that stuff... No, and thinking about the poor, the people that needed help. No government has been thinking about that ever since but, then. Right. Okay. So, f- all right. So, so, so you got the likes of like Sam Harris, right? And that video that we watch and we've loved, and he when he goes, he gets invited to go to look at that, go to that AI conference. Yeah, and he said, I was just fucking blown away because there are twenty five year old guys that are kind of on the on the on the autism spectrum who are being given billions and billions of dollars to be the first company to create artificial general intelligence yeah right yeah and there and he said that there there is this blind incentive and a pot limitless funds to yeah. be the first yeah. right to develop without it. anyone thinking of the consequences without anybody thinking of the consequences right so or what that could mean so so what so if we talk if you think about if you think about where where this AI is going, and you look at what we've just watched in the video, which again we'll post in the link, right? Yeah. And you're watching them robots, what they're doing, and you're like, oh my fucking god, that's just that's here now, that's yeah. now. Yeah. Someone else somewhere in, has got something in development that in two years' time is going to just blow that out the fucking water, right? Yeah. So we are pushing towards it. There has to be people who are advising people and saying, listen. This is round the fucking corner. You got to do something about it now, right? And and this crash and this break of society and this, you know, my only question is whether or not, whether or not we, you need to do away with a lot of people <laughs> at the same time. You know what I mean? But who knows? Well, it's if, coming, that's, if that's nefarious, it is, whatever happens, it's whatever coming. the future has been planned or whether it ain't been planned, is fucking coming. Those it's robots coming. are going to start taking jobs and it will start with transport. You know, and if you've got a robot in the back of a truck, like a robot pallet truck, yeah, yeah, yeah. that can l- lower off the back of the lorry and drop the trolley full of food... yeah. Yeah, and it's AI enough. I know these lorry drivers have problems parking and all this stuff, but they, and they'll have to sort that infrastructure out as well. Yeah. Like the big lorry Tesco's, I've worked on them big Tesco's factories where they warehouse everything, right? And you've just got banks and banks of lorries just backed up and forklifts just taking stuff in and that running it to its supermarket, right? Yeah. Them fuckers are going to be first. Robotic lorry, yeah. robot fucking delivery um, pallet truck driving. Yeah. And it will just rock up to the thingy, drop down, and start dropping these things off, and then other robots will come out of the shop and take right. it into the store and pot, start putting it in the yeah. warehouse or yeah. whatever. See, yeah. also, right, let me just add to that. That is why, and again, if you're not in the UK, you probably won't know about this, but there's this massive hoo-ha about smart motorways in there, right? Yeah. right? We've got to ban smart motorways. People, basically, you break down. So in the UK, if you're in America, we have our motorway lanes and then our inside lane used to be called the hard shoulder, right? And if you break down, you pull into the hard shoulder. Whereas now, the smart motorways, all the signage and the whole system is on cameras and artificial intelligence and algorithms and you do not have a hard shoulder. So if you break down, you are stuck in the live lane of a motorway. And these campaigners are saying people have died. You know, you put you st- and all of a sudden out of the out of the blackness comes a fucking juggernaut and just smashes you and you're dead. Right? There's a massive kickback on getting rid of smart motorways. Why? Because future proofing in the next four or five years time, when all the cars are AI controlled, AI controlled the yeah. systems linked together. Yeah. And when there's a crash on that fucking mark on or a breakdown, all the traffic just goes and stops. Yeah. Something comes along, clears it off the road. And they all, rip, they all just, go. all the cars just form into a nice little line and just drive past the thingy exactly. with no arguments of exactly. anyone getting in. The that car, is coming. You're that just is... sat in your motor, reading your book, or playing, or do, or working. 
yeah. on your way to work. Even if you, actually, where would you be going? Because will you be going to Me work? Me and you would just be pissed in the back of the thing, like fucking going on, binning cans at the car that's broken down as you go past. Yeah. Yeah, no, not quite, mate. Fuck you, wanker. Hanging your arsehole out as you go past. Yeah, trying to munge you. Yeah, anyway. yeah, yeah. So, anyway, well, that was an interesting conversation, mate. I think we'll cap it off at 15, shall we? Yeah, well, we'll just close it down. So, Let's what's going to happen? What's, what's going to happen? happen? Comments from you guys. What do you think? Where do you think we're going with artificial intelligence? And what, there's nothing we can do about it. So, well, there's nothing we can do to stop it. So, what are we going to have to do to take it in and deal with it? Because that's what needs to be asked. Can we stop the? Can we? You, can, you can't stop the forefront of technology doing what it's doing. You can't right? stop these these spectrum these these. Uh, so it's going to happen. Autism spectrum. Right. So guys. ten years time from now, I doubt you'll get into a taxi and it will be a taxi driver. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It will literally just be some battery powered car that pulls up, drives you where you want to go. That's what's going to happen, isn't it? Hundred percent. We'll start with that as a minimum. Lot more, lot more cars driving on the road with, with you know driverless cars. They well, call them. So Tony and I were up at, as I was going to say to you earlier. Tony and I were up at Hemfield, right? The guy that we're, the, the guy's house we we're working on, and uh, the geezer at the back's got a lovely big garden. He's got his mower, his, his battery, a, his AI, AI mower, AI mower, just yeah. going around. So that was the start. You're looking out. You're looking lovely, idyllic setting, and you've got artificial intelligence just there, doing the lawn. mowing the lawn, yeah. right? Constant and it goes and goes into this little hub, charges itself up, mm. comes back out and goes again. His lawn is absolutely pristine. You could get that new the new Alexa is a is a robot and it can roam around your house. And if you, I mean for if you've got an older parent and you're worried about them, then you would literally buy this thing. It's a thousand pounds. Yeah. And you can go. You just click on there and go. What's going on around Mum's house? Oh, she's all. Right. Hang on a minute. She left a fucking oven on, and yeah. it will go. It will check the oven. Right, okay. I don't know if it can turn it off yet. Yeah, yeah. If it's a Wi Fi oven, which they're going to invent. What's that, two or three iterations away? That's like. Yeah, it ain't far. Six months, another one comes Mum's left the oven on. You know, whatever. Mum's fallen over or whatever. Yeah. It will know and alert. You know what I mean? Yeah. So not only can you go, Alexa, play me some music, it's cunts roaming your house, fucking like yeah. checking your fridge and, and making sure the oven's off and doing all that stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Don't have, have, have to be a cunt, does it? Did I call it a cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, anyway, that's Cockney rhyming slang. What do you think about artificial intelligence? What do you, where do you think we're going with it? And um, DMT exploration is coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Quick one. Quick form content. No editing. No, no, editing. no bells and whistles. Let's just us having a chat. Peace. Love ya. See you later. Ta-da.